this session is a famous quote: "The essence of human civilization is that people are the ultimate goal. All of our science and technology, ideology and culture, public service, and all the modern civilization is to serve people and make people life better." This has always been the cardinal principle of Binance and also Binance Charity. That's why it's also our great pleasure, you know, talking to you today because I believe we share the same vision and mission. Yes, Helen, you are so right.、Uh, thank you so much for this kind intro.、Um, uh, I totally agree with what you described. I have one short sentence that I always use, and it's、um, to give is to really live. Um, I really think that we should all look out for each other and、uh, talk about what's going on in the world, and at the same time use technology that is surrounding us、um, and it's being developed so fast in order to help faster and in a transparent way. And as you said, we share you know so many values, and I think blockchain is one of the technologies that is、um, crucial in these times right now and in the future. Great. So Anna, I want to ask you. You know, why don't you share your journeys? You know,、um, your childhood. You know, your upbringings, and what made you believe in blockchain and crypto? Yes.、Um, I was first of all raised by my family to always help others. You know, and never make、uh, a distinction. Like I was raised that we're all the same, and we should all just really respect each other. And、um, I was lucky enough because I was born and raised in Slovenia. But when I was 18, I got a full scholarship for tennis to go to Silicon Valley and study at San Jose State University. That's when I got really in touch with, you know, the the center of innovation.、Uh, so I've been living half of my life in Silicon Valley,、uh, always being present in entrepreneurship. But at the same time, my heart and my passion and、uh, purpose was always in philanthropy, in helping others. So, almost 13 years ago, I started the largest food bank in Slovenia,、um, and we've helped、uh, over 300,000 families. And it was it was really simple:、um, bringing together the basic necessities by you know individuals, families,、um, different campaigns,、uh, different、uh, companies. Um, and just packaging it and bringing it directly to those in need. It's become so huge.、Uh, it's a it's a great side project, and the distinction is also we don't collect any money.、Uh, it just everything is just in in uh, in uh, in foods.、Right. So,、um, but then I said, you know, I want to do something bigger. And in 2016, I started learning about blockchain, and I said, okay, this is the perfect way of how to digitalize the food banks as we know. Um, so I established Truhoma. Truhoma stands for True and Honest Mankind because I think that we as human beings can achieve our highest potential when we are being true and honest. First of all, with ourselves, and then with everybody else. So you know, Truhoma is just the next step, the next vision for me.、Um, it's actually we are bringing to the people the, the platform where people can come, donate. Their donation is used in hundred percent. Uh, in order to purchase food packages, and those food packages are then directly delivered in, into the hands、uh, of people in need, and the entire、uh, donation is being then、um, uh, tracked on blockchain.、Um, so that's that's the whole kind of point, you know, bringing basic necessities directly to people, hundred、uh, percent donation, making it very efficient, and of course,、uh, the full transparency for the donors. That's really amazing,、um, you know. I'm so excited, you know, seeing women from all over the world like you. You know, we share exactly the same passion. And also, maybe I like to share, you know, like I spent eight years in Africa before joining Binance.、Um, I think I was able to see through those eight years, seeing the highest and lowest form of human natures, you 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 know, in that land. And I'm seeing people, you know, committed their lifetime, you know, trying to make an impact. But one of the thing tricked me is the system. You know, I think human beings has been searching for a good society, whether it's a communist, socialism, capitalism. You know, even the war was going on. We're talking about a good governance. But the question actually is, well, good people when they getting powerful, whether whatever kind of governance. There's always the problem of human nature because that's how things started getting wrong. This is why you know I think why we truly believe in technology because we think we believe entering in a year, actually human need to learn how to work with technology for the new form of governance, and that's something we're trying to shape. 
one of the things we did, you know, four years ago in Africa, you know, in terms of charity donation. Today, if I'm today in Paris, if I want to donate hundred euros to someone in Latin America or in Africa, only twenty five percent of my hundred euros end in the hand, you know, of end beneficiaries. This is not fair, right? You know, <laughs> what in the twenty first century, that's not fair. This is why I think technology can play a major role. So four years ago, when Binance Charity launched, we actually used the technology doing hundred percent. Point to point donation. So we're the first charity donation. We charge zero administration fees because we want to ensure, you know, the good initiative like what you mentioned is going to be received hundred percent. But and beneficiaries is not just being taken advantage of intermediaries because there is a system issues. You know, that's something we truly believe. We actually working with you. We're trying to shape also the way the governance. You know, to shaping the system. I like to hear what's your thought on that. That's a very good uh, example and question. Look, I I've been having so much experience and with uh, governance and with the system that we know now, and also certain big nonprofits that exist until this day. I don't believe in their model anymore because it's not sustainable. It's no longer sustainable. So usually, when you bring in new technologies, when you disrupt. What is existing? Uh, there is a huge. Um, how do you say? They want to say no at, at first, right? They they don't want to use that. So I think it's very important that for people like us, for organizations like us, that we do a lot of showcases to show them how much more effective, how how much more efficient, how much more money we save that we can use them for other things. Um, such technologies bring. I think our project when you donated to Tsukhoma for. Ukraine is a perfect example because you donated forty thousand euros. With this forty thousand euros, we bought exactly what one thousand food boxes that were then directly delivered from Slovenia to Ukraine into the hands of the civilians. And this was all tracked, you know, with social media and also on blockchain. And I think with showcasing and with creating pilots like that, um, in the short time, they were no longer. Uh, they will no longer resist. They will have to start using such technology because it's time. And you know, from what I've seen all over the world, um, it's very simple. If you want to donate something, if that's a bag of cookies, you don't want to take five cookies out. You want to exactly. get the whole bag. And nobody in the intermediaries, everybody that is involved, they should not get any money, or they should not even make any money. Because I have to be brutally honest. In many cases, philanthropy has become. Quite a business. We have to be fully transparent here, and I really dislike that. That's why I think you and me and what we're doing, sharing the hundred percent efficiency, is very crucial, and that's the way to go. I cannot agree more with you. I think we're totally fully aligned on that, and I really like what you said. You know, we need to make a successful example because that's the best way to bring inspiration, leadership. And confidence, you know, to the industry. People can talk about principles, but what is truly lacking is people actually being there and then it. And then actually, it's our great pleasure working with you as shapers, pioneers, you know, trying to shape a successful example, bring the industries, uh, you know, moving along. And actually, we I love to see more female, you know, joining the 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 race in this because I think we're also into a year technology can empower. More women, you know.、Um, yes. Yeah, love to hear your thoughts on that as well.、Um, you know, I've been very present also in、uh, the startup world,、uh, raising money. You know, in Silicon Valley with the VCs, with the angel community, and still now today, most of my meetings wherever I was, it was basically many times just me among、uh, male, right?、Yeah. Um, you have to. I think women should not be concerned.、Uh, About the fact that many times they are just in the meetings with men, because I believe if you have a vision, if you believe in yourself, don't bother with these things. Just you know, move forward, go forward, because you will find、uh, same-minded people, even even with men, and they will support you. But you have to really、uh, show the energy that you believe, that you believe in yourself.、Uh, I think that's really important, and I think it's very important that women support women. Uh, and push each other forward. You know that's why for me it's an honor, Helen, that you know I I had the opportunity to work with Binance Charity because you you've achieved so much and you're such a good trendsetter.、Uh, 
Uh, and I think that, you know, you giving me opportunity to, you know, do certain things with you and be on the stage with you, that's a lot. And I'm going to do the same for other women. You know, I'm always here for anybody who, who wants help, who wants support. If their vision is, um, I would say, uh, in the right direction. So they're good, doing something good for the humanity. I think that's very important. I really like what you said, and it's our great honor, you know, to working together hand to hand, you know, um, with you. And then, like, what, I like what you said, women to help women, because I think women need empowerment mm -hmm. and also need support. And that's something, actually, I want to give a lot of respect for this forum. It's actually giving the opportunity to empower women, what women can, 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 can do. I always remember, you know, when I was 20 years something, um, you know, there, I felt there's a tiger inside of me, but it needs a stage. So I think that kind of empowerment, you know, is so important. Now, I think um, it's our great honor, you know, we can empower more women joining this. It also reminds me of a project we did actually in Afghanistan uh, mm -hmm. with women. Because, you know, as we know, there is the Taliban takeover. There are a lot of young women that feel so hopeless. But then, uh, and across jobs. And, but what I, we think empower women, knowledge and education is so important because that's the best weapons, equipment. They can actually empower themselves. So basically what we did is to open crypto wallet, you know, convert BUSD to local currency. So we actually use technology to empower them. They can afford food bills and basic living expenses at the same time they were able to study i think this is so important i really want to i think it's our common goal you know we want more women to get more educated you know to be equipped with the knowledge of technology and also to shine to 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 make differences yes i think this is really important and you know we have to be aware i mean the crisis is here What's coming in the next month, in the next year is going to be huge. More and more people in poverty. Prices are going up. So with technology, I think we can really optimize so many things, not just in philanthropy, but, you know, in, in many industry sectors, empowering women, uh, giving them education, bringing them on board so they understand the technology, they can grow with it and find other solutions that can help the world. And I think right now it's time to stand together more than ever. You know, so I think through women, because we have this sensitive side of us, I think we understand more what's going on and we need to really pull through together. Totally. And this is something I actually love to continue working with you. Also, women in tech, if actually of this conference as a concrete, you know, thing we can do together is actually to do some blockchain uh, crypto, even NFT education, you know, to empower women, because we believe those that best technology you know we can give you know letting people to be equipped with the knowledge so anna before we leave on the stage is there anything you like to share with you know that the many women is watching uh, on this talk anything you you want them to remember yes i think it's very important that you know we all find our purpose because once you find your purpose you you actually live your dream and never give up and I think, as I mentioned before, the times are quite tough. Uh, bringing new technology, learning about them, finding how to use them in the best way, that's really important. Um, and always really respect each other because uh, I think sometimes many people are, you know, in their ego stage and this really doesn't do any well. So I always believe acting out of heart and connecting with everyone, that's, that's the way to go. That's amazing. And I want to end this session maybe with something Nelson Mandela once said. It's always impossible until it's done. It's our great pleasure working with you. And also, I really want to use that one to empower the people that are watching here. You can do it. You can make it. You are the diamond. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Helen. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for this fantastic chat. Thanks for sharing your experience. And thanks for everything that you do at Binance Charity. Super so, excited. Thank you. And thank you once again for organizing this. I think it's really uh, important you empower millions of women through this conference. Thank
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Helen, for your kind words. It means a lot to us. And yes. let's give a virtual round of applause to Helen for this fantastic chat. I will also now show on the screen some really great comments. Yes. And yeah, they're asking for your LinkedIn profile. We'll make sure to yeah. share so you can follow or drop a note great. to Helen. Great. So many thanks from our amazing people from all over the world. It was really a great honor to have had you today with us, Helen. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Bye-bye.